Hi, it's Pastor Rick, and I wanted to introduce you to a very special friend and partner in ministry in the Kingdom of God, and that's Mike Stern. Mike? Hi, my name is Mike, and I work for African New Life Ministries, and we're standing here in Karehe refugee um, camp that is in Rwanda. And I just want to thank McLean Bible Church. Thank you so much for sending this group of people here, Rick and Roger and Sue, so that they can see firsthand what's happening. And because of some funds that were donated by the people of McLean Bible Church in Prince William, um, we've been able to give some gifts here to the refugee camp. So we just finished preaching to some children and handing out some treats for them. And then also, if you can see here, we're standing inside uh, the church that is here at the refugee camp and a storm has badly damaged the roof. So some of those funds that were given by people at McLean Bible Church are gonna go towards repairing this roof using iron sheets so that it's uh, more sustainable. And even now we see a storm approaching and because we're on a hill here overlooking a valley, there's very little protection. Those structures that do have tin roofs already, which is only one, the school withstands those storms, but the tents have to be replaced every time it rains. And a lot of storms come through the mountains here. So we thank you, McLean Bible Church, the people, uh, my congregation, my church family for the generous donations. Um, and we'll, we'll be keeping uh, you know, tabs on what's going on here uh, through the weeks and the months uh, as uh, Ameri uh, African New Life Ministries continues to minister uh, to these beautiful children and families uh, who have unexpectedly been removed from their lives in the country next door and expelled into uh, Rwanda uh, with absolutely nothing. Uh, but you should see the smiles of these kids. They have huge hearts and they love the Lord. Most of them are coming to know him and it was such a privilege to preach to almost two, three hundred of them uh, just a moment ago. And to see their smiles and those beautiful eyes is just precious to me. Yeah. And one of the challenges really, I think that is, it, it can be a bit overwhelming at yes, times yes. because mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're here, we're seeing lots of needs, obviously, and there are a lot of people here. Um, so I guess, I don't know, Rick, how, wow, do, you, yeah. how do you really address that on an, on an individual level? Well, on an individual level, I mean, first of all, there's over a thousand children here alone. Uh, 600 of them are attending school, uh, and that includes their uh, folks even more than that. And so it can be very overwhelming to see the need, um, you know, in every aspect, both physically uh, and spiritually. And so it can be overwhelming for people as they watch the news and they see these huge problems around the world like this refugee crisis right now. However, I just wanted to uh, just encourage you, you know, overwhelmed, being overwhelmed by the needs in, in, in crises like this is actually a blessing from God. You see, we tend, especially as Americans, to rely on the resources God has blessed us with too much, uh, our education, our, our finances. And so we step out and we become overwhelmed. When we realize our uh, inadequacy, uh, it's a gift because we know that in our weakness, God's strength is made perfect. And in doing that, we will be more apt to bring people to Jesus and let him minister to them as we then apply our resources. So yes, resources are very important, but it really comes down to looking at individuals as that, human beings created in the image of God, and each one of them is precious. We don't have to look at the population. We have to look into the eyes of each child, each mother, each father. And what we always actually say here at African New Life is that you can't change the world, yes. but you can change the world for one. Yes, that's absolutely true. And I just want to, again, encourage uh, McLean Bible, uh, all of you uh, who will be seeing this, um, that this is where God works. Uh, both in America and here in Africa. Um, again, it is an individual to individual. It is heart to heart engagement. This is disciple making at its finest. Trusting in the Lord Jesus where we fall short, which is very short in needs like this. However, we have seen some amazing things in Africa. This is a beautiful continent. It's a beautiful country here in Rwanda. And I got to tell you, I have met some brothers and sisters that I will never forget and I will be partying with in heaven for eternity. But I also have met future leaders, some of them standing right here on my right. And I can tell you that God has done a miracle after miracle after miracle, one person at a time in this amazing, amazing country. I want to go ahead and just say goodbye. God bless you, Mike. Do you have any closing remarks? I just again want to thank McLean Bible Church. Thank you for sending these people here. Thank you for being present in Rwanda. It makes all the difference. We love you. Thank you very much. God bless you. We'll see you soon.